every computer components you should know. Motherboard. The motherboard is a large flat board that sits inside the computer. All important parts, such as the processor, storage, and cards are attached to it. It has many tiny pathways and connectors that allow electric signals to travel between components so they can communicate with each other. It is often called the heart of the computer. Even though it plays such a critical role, it usually costs less compared to parts like the processor or graphics card. CPU, the central processing unit also known as the processor, is a small square chip that is placed on the motherboard and is usually covered by a cooling fan. It is often described as the brain of the computer because it is responsible for thinking and decision-making. Every instruction and calculation happens here. When you type on the keyboard, open an application, or browse the Internet, the processor is doing all the thinking in the background at very high speed. Even though it looks tiny, it is one of the most powerful and costly components because the overall speed of the computer depends heavily on it. Graphics card or GPU. The graphics card is a long rectangular board with a big chip in the middle and usually one or more fans on top to keep it cool. This part focuses on visual tasks. It handles images, videos, animations, and everything you see on the screen. Activities like gaming, video editing, and 3D design rely heavily on this component. You can think of the processor as the logical thinker and the graphics card as the creative artist that draws everything nicely. Because of its heavy workload, it is also one of the most expensive parts. Hard drive. The hard drive is a box-shaped storage unit usually made of metal, and it stores all long-term data. This includes the operating system, programs, and personal files such as photos, videos, and documents. Inside it, there is a spinning magnetic disk and a tiny moving arm that reads and writes information. It can store a very large amount of data, but accessing that data takes time, so it feels slow. Because it cannot quickly deliver information to the processor, Another component is needed to help with speed, and that is where RAM comes in. RAM, or Random Access Memory, is a thin rectangular stick that connects directly to the motherboard. Its job is to temporarily hold data that the processor needs immediately. Instead of constantly searching the hard drive, the processor looks at the RAM, which is much faster. A simple way to understand this is to imagine the hard drive as a large garage filled with many items and the RAM as a small tool bag. The garage can store a lot, but finding something takes time, while the tool bag holds fewer items but lets you grab them quickly. RAM works the same way. One important thing to remember is that RAM is short-term memory. When the computer is switched off, everything stored in it is erased. SSD, or the solid-state drive, performs the same role as a hard drive, which is storing data, but it is much faster and more reliable. It does not use spinning disks or moving parts. Instead, it stores data on memory chips. Because of this, it loads programs and the operating system much faster and is less likely to fail due to physical damage. Some computers use both a hard drive and an SSD, while others rely only on an SSD. Although it costs more than a hard drive, it has become very common because of its speed and durability. Cooling fans. Some parts, especially the processor, can get extremely hot while working. To prevent overheating, a cooling fan is used. It is usually attached directly to the processor or placed inside the case to move hot air out and bring cool air in. Proper cooling helps maintain performance and prevents damage to components. Power supply. The power supply unit is a rectangular box that provides electricity to all computer components. It takes power from the wall socket and converts it into a form that the computer parts can safely use. Without it, nothing would turn on. Wireless card. The wireless card is a small component that allows the computer to connect to Wi-Fi networks. With this card, the computer can access the Internet without using a physical cable. If a computer does not have a wireless card, it must rely on a wired Ethernet connection to go online. Case 
The case is the outer body of the computer that holds and protects all internal components. It also helps with airflow by allowing fans and vents to move air through the system to keep everything cool. Cases come in many sizes and designs. Some are small for compact builds, while others are large and designed for gaming or high-performance systems. Now let me see if you can solve this question which 98% of people failed to solve. 